Hey, Jeff Howard here at KiteBoarding.com, and we're really excited. I've been waiting for these electric longboards that are coming from a company called Inboard, and now we're carrying these things, and I wanted to do an unboxing to show you. Really cool. We've been looking forward to it because this is the first one with one of the in-wheel motors and an interchangeable battery in the longboard. I've ridden a bunch of the other ones, and we're really excited about it. So I'm going to do a little unboxing just to show you how it comes here. So it's a good heavy-duty box like this. It's ready to go. Uh, we weighed it all out and we're about 24 pounds complete and you will see what's inside of here. So this box took a little little ding there in the carry, no big deal though because once you pull it out, inside it comes with a bag, get that out of the way. So on the bag itself, we'll just look at this, it's a fully padded bag, it's got a little pocket for extras right up here at the end. Very nice heavy duty zippers on here. Uh, shoulder strap. Yeah, it looks like you can adjust it out so you can carry your rig. One arm. Uh, one arm strap, little handle on the side. Nothing on the end. So if you had to pack this away to put it maybe up on a plane or something like that, or put it away, it's very easily done. So inside here, you can see how it's packed. It's got the box, I'm guessing this is all the accessories we'll pull out. Uh, the board in here, which has a nice uh, Velcro strap over the top of it to hold it inside so it's not sliding around, I'm guessing. We'll take a peek at that. Uh, it's got a little accessory pocket here, it looks like. Little net pockets, two of them. Another little small pocket. Anyway, and it's fully padded. This is like a uh, tarpaulin material on the inside. So, what is it going to take here? They've got the plastic strap. Guessing this is, uh, yep, the accessories. Comes with the box here with the accessories. Uh, we'll keep going into the board. Looks like they got it all padded so it stays really pretty. So I'll move this box out of the way. Once we undo the Velcro strap, I figure there'd be another one up here, but there's only one. Let me see. No, there is two, it's just not put over it. So if you want to strap your board in, Pull it out here. It's got all cardboard completely protected, that's for sure. Ah, so I want to show you this other strap. Looks like there's another one. So you do have two straps. So you want to strap your board in. It's got a double strap system to strap it in. Uh, initial feel, it's, it's definitely definitely heavy, but what are you going to get from electric skateboard? Cardboard, moved off the tips. And uh, the first look here. So I'm going to move the bag out of the way. Um, this is, again, this is the first in-wheel motor. So I want to see how much drag is on here. I've done the ones with belts, and there's a ton of drag. So when you go to pushing the board, you can barely even move these wheels. They don't coast. Uh, these definitely have a lot less drag than a belt-driven one. They're not as easy as the full-on wheel down here, which is just the bearing front ones. Um, but it is all in-wheel motor, two motors right here on the rear. Uh, you can see all the wires here that go through. It must be the connection plugs that run up through this custom. This is a fully molded board, so it's not just a board with a battery added to it. This is completely custom done. Uh, I'm going to open this up. just want to see. This is where the battery compartment is. And it's really cool. This is... Uh, Looks like it's all rubberized and sealed around here. That's to probably give a good resistance to any kind of water or trash that will get inside of here to the battery compartment. So let's go into the other box. Easily to put on. Turn and lock. Definitely a good tough grip on that, on that board. All right, let's go into the accessory box and see what we've got in here. Once you open it up, got a quick start here, I guess, and that's for the people who are in a hurry. To learn a little bit about it. It's got a full user guide here. Probably every different language maybe or just English. That yeah, looks pretty much uh, everything English. Uh, it's got the tools, tool set here. So you've got your three-way bolts, you've got a screwdriver, it's like a Phillips, you've got an Allen key. I'm guessing, ah okay this is to remove um, the wheels uh, and or the motors or tighten your trucks or something. Reflex, I'm guessing this may be the remote. Really nice case, looks like a, like an Oakley type case, fully padded. This is the remote. 
really neat thing. Looks like it's stay in your hand, a uh, little rubber thing. I like that. Kind of keeps it where you can open your hand. I think that was one of the things they were talking about. Your throttle, your trigger, case. Uh, here is a USB cord. I'm guessing this is to charge your remote. Power shift, this should be the battery or the charger. So in there it comes a charger. Looks about the same size as a laptop. Some of the, it's, it's pretty good size. Pretty good size charger. Not uh, real tiny or anything, but lightweight. You can carry that in a backpack with you. With the power cord and it is a custom connection for sure to the battery. So let's open up this. This should be the interchangeable battery. There's your power shift battery pack. And uh, as you can see here, that definitely is a, it's a magnet. It's a custom, custom fitting, definitely a magnet. You'll have to have this charger to charge it uh, for sure. I was wondering about that, if it was any kind of charger that you could use just a standard USB or a plug. But anyway, uh, so you got your battery, manual, board, and I guess this just plugs all into it. So this is everything that comes with it in the boxing. Um, it looks really good. I like the size of the wheels. Definitely something will roll over just about anything. Um, anyway, we'll have another uh, video showing you how everything works on it and how all these tools and uh, accessories will work. Anyway, that's Jeff Howard here at Kiteboarding.com. We're really excited about the inboard electric skateboard.